Okay, today I'm going to show you how to crochet the textured baby bunting bag that you can find the written pattern for in my website through the link that's in the description below. So for the video tutorial, I'm um, going to show you right now from start to finish how to make this textured baby bunting bag. So I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. And to be honest, this yarn, it's like this. Okay, I'm not completely sure about the brand. I can't remember, I don't have the label on it. But if I was going to compare the thickness of this yarn to any other that you might know, I would compare it to the uh, the big balls of baby blanket yarn that you can find at Michael's, probably very similar to Red Heart Super Saver, that thickness, maybe a little thinner than that. Um, so anyway, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start by making our starting loop. You're just gonna wrap the yarn around your finger and cross it over. And then this piece, see the part here that's underneath? You're just gonna pick up a little piece of that and push part of that yarn through just a little bit and give it a tug. Okay, now I'll make this loop. You're just gonna put your hook through the loop and secure it to the hook. Okay, so you're gonna start by doing a chain 20. So to make a chain, you're going to yarn over your hook and pull it right through that loop. Okay, that's it, that's the chain. So one, you're gonna continue on until you reach 20, okay? So go ahead, pause this video, get to chain 20, and then come back. Okay, so now that you've done your chain 20, in the second chain from the hook, so here, this is your loop that your hook is in. So this first chain right here is the first chain from the hook, and here's the second. You're going to do a single crochet. So you're just gonna push your hook right into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now you have two loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull right through both loops on your hook. Okay, so I'll do another one with you. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. And that's a single crochet. So you're just gonna go ahead and do one single crochet in every single chain all the way down the row, and then come back. So go ahead, pause, do a single crochet in every chain down the row, and then come back. Okay, so now you've done one single crochet in every single chain down the row. Now normally in most um, patterns, what you would see is you would be doing a chain and turning your work and going back down the row. But what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be going around and working back down the other side of our chain, okay? So in that last chain where you did a single crochet, you're gonna do another one in the same space and while you're working your way to turn your work counterclockwise okay so you're just going to push your hook into the same chain space and do a single crochet and now going back down every chain space down the row you're going to be doing a single crochet again so you're just going to put your hook it looks a little different because you're working on the bottom of the chain now but same idea, and you're just gonna be, even if you're not completely sure, just look where your stitch from the previous row is, you're just gonna be doing another one right underneath it there, so. One single crochet all the way back down the other side of the chain. Sorry, let me get a better view for you. Okay, so same thing, you can go ahead and pause the video and do one single crochet all the way back down the chain and then come back. Okay, so now you went all the way back down that row, but we're gonna finish off the same way that we had when we had doubled up at this end. So we're gonna do two single crochets in that last space. So you would have finished with that last one there, so just do one more in that same chain space, the last one, one single crochet there, okay? And the way we're gonna finish every round is um, we're going to be doing a slip stitch and you're going to do your slip stitch into the chain space from the start of the row. So 
this is our chain space from the start of the row because if you remember, we started working in the second chain from the hook. So this little loopy thing right here that looks kind of like a little sideways loop there, that's your chain one that you skipped at the beginning. So you're going to slip stitch into there to close this round. So we're going to push our hook through the top of that chain, yarn over and pull right through. And that's a slip stitch. So now we're going to chain one and we're going to do a half double crochet into that first stitch two times. So you're going to yarn over your hook, put it through the stitch, yarn over your hook, and pull up a loop. So now you've got three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing again in the same stitch. So yarn over your hook, push it through the stitch, and just take note of how that looks when you're going through a stitch. It should look like you're going right through that V, okay? Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're going to do one half double crochet in the following you know what, let me give you an actual count because I'm pretty, this is what I'm pretty bad for. I'll always say, you know, do it right up until these three that are at the little turning thing. So I'm going to tell you the exact stitch count. So we're going to do one half double crochet in the following one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen stitches. So you're going to do one half double crochet in these seventeen stitches and then come back. Okay, so now that we have these three stitches here, um, making up our little turn, we're going to be increasing for these next, like these few rounds that we're about to do here, we're increasing. So to increase, we have to put a couple stitches in the same spaces to make it larger, to expand the work. So we're going to do two half double crochets in each of these three stitches. So yarn over. Go through the stitch. Well, you know how to do a half double crochet now after doing all those. So you're going to do two in that space. You're going to do two in the next. And you're going to do two in that third one there. Okay, and now you've made your way around that little turn. We're going to go back down. Now we're going to do one half double crochet in each of these 16 stitches, okay? So one half double crochet in the next 16 stitches and then come back, okay? And then in these last two stitches here, you're gonna do two half double crochets. And the reason you're doing two at this end, like two half double crochets in two stitches rather than into three, is because remember you started out by doing by doubling it up here. So it does equal out. And then we do nothing with this part right here because this is the stitch that we had we worked when we did our slip stitch in chain one. So that's already being used. We're going to slip stitch straight into our chain one space right here. So just going to skip over that, slip stitch right into that chain one space from the start of this round, and slip stitch chain one to start the next. Okay. So do two half double crochet in the first one there because we're still going to increase here for a little bit. Okay, then you're going to do one half double crochet in the next 20 stitches. Okay, so go ahead, do your one half double crochet in these next 20 stitches and then come back. Okay, now you're going to do your two half double crochets because we're still increasing. So two in each of these next three stitches. So that's two in that one there. Do two in this next one, right in that same space, and then two into this one. Okay, and now you're going to do one half double crochet in the next 19 stitches and then come back. Okay, so now you're going to do your two half double crochet in those last two stitches. Okay, 
close with a slip stitch in that chain one space and chain one. Okay, now we're going to do two of our textured stitch into that first stitch there. So you're going to yarn over your hook, push your hook through the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So you've got your three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over again, go back into that stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now you have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. So when you hear me saying textured stitch, this is the one I'm talking about, okay? Let's do it again because we're still increasing. Yarn over, go through the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over, go back in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. One, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five. Okay? Now you're going to do one textured stitch in each of the next 23 stitches, and then come back. Okay? And now you're going to do two of that textured stitch into each of these next three stitches. There's one, two. Now, you're going to do one textured stitch in each of the next 22 stitches and then come back. Okay, and then you're going to do your two in the last two. close with a slip stitch into your chain one space. And chain one. Okay. So we're going to do one more increase round before we move on to continue with the rest of the pattern. So go ahead and do So we're going to do two of our textured stitch hand. Okay, so now you're going to do two of your textured stitch in that first stitch of the row. Oops, I got so used to doing those half double crochets. Sorry about that, guys. So I did one. I have to do one more in that space. Okay. Now you're going to do one textured stitch in the next 26 stitches. Okay. And then come back. Okay, so now you're going to do your two textured stitches in each of these next three. And then you're going to do one, oh, I have to do one more in there. <laughs> okay. And then you're going to do one of these stitches in each of the next 25 and then come back. Okay, so now that we've finished our increasing rounds, what you're going to be doing is an alternating pattern. And you're going to do this alternating pattern that I'm about to tell you. You're going to do it 
for a total of 18 rows. So maybe you wanna get a stitch marker and place it before you start this next row. It could be an actual stitch marker, it could be a different color piece of yarn, whatever you want, just to help you keep track while you're counting. So what you're gonna do now, you're going to, you've done your chain one, you're going to do one half double crochet in every stitch all the way around, close with a slip stitch, chain one. You're gonna do that again, so two rounds of half double crochet. Then you're gonna do one round of your textured stitch. You will end every round with a slip stitch. You will start every new round with a chain one. So go ahead and do this alternating pattern of two rounds of half double crochet, one round of textured. Two rounds of half double crochet, two, one round of textured. Do that till you reach a total of 18 rounds and then come back. Okay, so now you're gonna finish off this round with your two textured stitches in those last two stitches there. Okay. And then of course we will close with a slip stitch and chain one. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do one more round of our increase, and we're gonna be doing this one um, again with our textured stitch, okay? So, yarn over your hook. You're gonna start out with doing your two stitches, your two textured stitches in that first stitch. Okay, now you're gonna do one textured stitch in each of the next 29 stitches and then come back. Okay, so now that you've done those 29, you're gonna do your two stitches in the following three. Okay, so that's two. Now we're gonna do it in the second one here. That's one stitch, another one in the same spot, another stitch, one more, okay, okay, so now you're going to do your one texture stitch in the next 28 stitches. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, go ahead, you know by now to finish off. So you're gonna do it in the next 28 stitches, you're gonna do one. And then in your last two, you're gonna do two stitches in each of those last two, close with a slip stitch, chain one, and then come back. Okay, so now that you're finished with doing your increasing. So this part, I don't know if you can tell by now, just yet, but I'll show you. So what you've just worked on this is gonna be the bottom part of your bunting bag. So this is the part where the, the baby's feet would be going into. So now we're gonna work up to make the body of it, okay? So now we're just gonna be working in rounds. We're gonna be doing one stitch in each stitch all the way around. We're gonna close every single round with a slip stitch like we have been. And we're gonna begin every single round with a chain one like we have been. Now the only thing that's going to be changing throughout for the next 35 rounds, so I would suggest getting a stitch marker. If you have an actual stitch marker that's meant for that purpose, that's great. If you don't, that's okay. I don't. I use a different color piece of yarn and what I would do is I would just take my hook and stick it under that first stitch right there and just pull through a little piece, just a little piece that kind of sticks out like that that can hang down and stay out of the way of my work. But I would just use that to indicate for me where I began so that I can start, um, so I can easily come back and count my rounds because like I said, we're going to be doing 35 rounds in total now. So you're going to want to be able to keep on track with where you're supposed to be and have it easy to go back and count, okay? So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be working with all half double crochets and this textured stitch. So 
what you're going to do for this round is you're going to do one half double crochet in every single stitch all the way around close of the slip stitch chain one then you're going to do it again half double crochet every stitch around close with a slip stitch chain one then you're going to do a textured stitch around one round of textured stitch then you're going to do half double crochet half double crochet textured stitch half double crochet half double crochet textured stitch and you're going to be alternating this pattern like i said one once in every single stitch all the way around close of the slip stitch chain one okay and you're going to do this for 35 rounds in total for this next step okay so go ahead pause the video do your 35 rounds alternating that pattern um, and then come back now if you need to reference the written pattern like I mentioned before there is a link in the description below this video right now that you can click on it and it will take you it will redirect you in a separate browser it's going to take you to um, actually I shouldn't say that I don't know if YouTube automatically redirects to a separate browser or not come to think of it I just drew a blank so I don't know but nonetheless uh, maybe even just copy the link and paste it into another browser if you want to keep this window open with this video right now but um, anyhow there is a link to the written pattern if you want to follow along with that while you're doing this but or even just rewind and hear what I say again okay I'll go over it one more time you're going to do one round of half double crochet once in every stitch then you're going to do that again and then you're going to do one round of textured stitch and then another two rounds of half double crochet one round of textured stitch two rounds of half double crochet until you have reached 18 or sorry <laughs> where did you get 18 um 35 okay 35 rounds in total and then come back and we'll move on to the next step okay so now that you've finished all 35 of those rounds you're gonna see your bunting bag or sleep sack starting to well clearly has taken shape so now we're going to begin our decrease rounds so it's a little bit more snug under the arms um, and then we're going to add some straps so what you're going to do is you're going to do one half double crochet in the first eight stitches one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you're going to do a half double crochet decrease. So you're going to yarn over your hook, push it into that first stitch, yarn over pull up a loop and then you're just going to push your hook right into that next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook okay so what you've done is you've taken these two stitches and you've turned it into one so you've decreased the round a stitch so you're going to do that again you're going to do a half double crochet in the next eight one I'll do this with you one more time right now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now you're going to do your half double crochet decrease. So yarn over. Push your hook through the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Push your hook through the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Okay, so go ahead and just repeat that all the way around until you get back to the end of this round. And then come back. So pause, do a half double crochet in the next eight stitches, half double crochet decrease. And just continue around and then come back. Okay, so... I just want to quickly note for you just so you don't think you've done anything wrong um, this last little stitch here right before the slip stitch um, 
the whole entire time here, you have been doing it correctly where you would end here and then go into the slip stitch. You wouldn't be doing anything right here. But for this last round that you just did, you would just finish off your last half double crochet decrease into there. That's fine, okay? It evens out now in this next round. So you're gonna close with a slip stitch and chain one. So now we're going to do a half double crochet into the first seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. seven and you're going to do a half double crochet decrease so you're just basically copying the same thing you did in the last round but this time instead of there being eight stitches between all of your decreases there's going to be seven so go ahead do that close with a slip stitch chain one and come back okay so now what the reason we did those decrease rounds was just to make it just a little bit more snug underneath the baby's arms we want to make these bunting bags or sleep sacks, whatever you want to call them, we want to make them as safe as possible for peace of mind for baby's parents and make it as cozy as possible for the baby. So let's just have a look at it for a moment, okay? So you can see how nice and cozy this is and our little textured stitch is really coming out very nicely. So let's go ahead and this is the part now where we're going to start doing our finishing round for the bunting bag and then we will move on to the straps and you'll be done. So for our finishing round, what we're going to do is one more round of that textured stitch just to finish it off nicely and just clean up the edge, okay? So go ahead and do one, one textured stitch in every stitch all the way around, close with a slip stitch, do not chain one, just close with a slip stitch and come back. Okay, so when you finished off there and you did your slip stitch, instead of doing a chain one, you're just pulling your yarn right through. I've already cut mine, but you would just pull through a little longer and take a pair of scissors and fasten off the yarn and then pull the rest through. And you just use a yarn needle to hide that tail end in and out of the stitches on the inside. Okay, so now we're going to move on to do the straps. Okay, so now that we are going to get onto the straps here, I'm going to show you how you want to line everything up really, really flat and start at the bottom here to make sure that the bottom is lined up well. It's a little poop there. Okay, and then flatten it out and you're going to just fold the front and the back to each other. Okay, so you have these two, your two ends like this. Now I'm going to show you how I decide where to start counting from. So you've got like, it looks like you'll have your stitches in the back row, stitches in the front row, and then you kind of have like where it's sort of an edge. So we're gonna start counting in from there. Okay, so, so it'll kind of look like a little, usually it ends up like that, like a little, this little guy at the head of the table. So we're gonna count from here. One, two, three, four, five. And that's where we're going to reattach our yarn. Just put your hook in there to hold that place. And then you're going to go and get your working yarn. Let me just cut this a little shorter. And just note, in case you're wondering why it's looking a little bit different here, to be totally honest, I made a mistake. I had to pull out a bunch of yarn and it had my stitches all uneven. So I came back in and I just did one more round of half double crochet. You don't have to do that. You can leave it how we finished off already. I just, I wanted my stitches to look nice and clean so you could really see what I'm doing. Um, you can go back and reattach your yarn and do another round of half double crochet if you wanted to. That's not in the written part of the pattern. I just added that right now because it was when I pulled out the mistake I had made with when I was doing the straps. I was doing one before filming the video. I made a mistake, pulled it out, but I had tugged a little bit too much on some of the stitches here. You can see where like it might be a little bigger. 
So instead of having it looking uneven, I just did this to make it nice and clean, okay? So in case you're looking going, hold on, how come it looks a little bit different at the top? Because this was the last round of textured stitch that you'll have right now. This is an extra, an extra round of half double crochet. Not necessary to do, you can if you want to. Like I said, that's not even part of the written pattern. I just added that in there right now for the sake of showing a clean edge for this tutorial. Okay, so you're going to make your starting loop again to reattach your yarn. Just put that on your hook and pull it through just enough to start working with. Chain one, okay? Now we're going to do a half double crochet in that same stitch. Oops. Okay, and then you're going to half double crochet in the following six stitches. So you're gonna end up with a total of seven. Okay, and you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Then you're gonna go back and do another row of half double crochet, and then you're gonna do a row of your chain one, turn your work, and do a row of textured stitch. So that row of three is mimicking the pattern that we did down here. So two rows of half double crochet, one row of textured stitch. Now you're going to be, and like I said, I mean, you're not closing with a slip stitch anywhere here. You're just gonna chain one, turn your work. So you're literally just gonna flip it around like this and start working back down that. Chain one, turn your work, flip it around and work back down. So we're making the strap. So you're going to do that, that repeat row of three, okay? You're going to do it a total of five times, all right? So you're gonna have two half double crochet, one textured stitch, two half double crochet, one textured stitch. And you're going to do that for a total of five times, okay? And then come back. Okay, so now that you have finished that strap, what you're going to do is turn your work inside out because we're gonna be closing this to the other side of our bunting bag. And we don't want to have the seam on the outside. Okay. So you're going to want to go ahead and make that nice and even again. Make sure it's a pretty important part because you don't want to give this to someone and they go to put it on their baby and it's all lopsided. The straps being balanced is pretty important. So what you want to do now is count from this side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's lining up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is where, okay, hold on. Okay, so from here, one, two, three, four, five lines up with this stitch. And we had a total of seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So now you're going to take your yarn and go right into that stitch. You see it here, right there? Okay. So put it in the front. Let me pull this a little closer. You're going to take your yarn and push it right into this stitch and go straight through into that other one to connect both rows, okay? And you're gonna close it with a slip stitch. You're just gonna yarn over your hook and pull it right through every loop on your hook. All right, so now line it up and you're just gonna go down the row like that. You're going to put it in that first stitch, make sure it goes into both stitches on both rows, yarn over and pull right through. So go ahead and do that, lining up all these stitches, close with a slip stitch and fasten off, and you're just gonna repeat these steps again for the other side over here, okay? Um, and there you go, that's your baby bunting bag. Be sure to click subscribe so that you also get updates when I add the 
matching hat to go with this project.